As the June 7 parliamentary elections near, the ruling Justice and Development Party, AK Party, has begun to step up its harassment of opposition parties, its latest trick being the removal of the opposition nationalist movement parties, MHP, election posters across Turkey on the grounds that they insult President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. With less than a fortnight remaining before the elections, public tensions and various restrictions introduced by the AK party against its rivals have sullied each stage of the electoral process. In a bid to pressurize and intimidate opposition parties ahead of the elections, the government has been using state institutions and the judiciary, which have been mainly operating under the influence of then Prime Minister and current President Erdogan and the ruling party since a major corruption scandal went public on December 17, 2013. In the latest incident, a penal court of peace in Krakale has controversially ordered the removal of the opposition MHP party's election posters from each of the 81 provinces of Turkey because they include an insult to President Erdogan. The court ruled that there is a strong suspicions of crime in the MHP's election posters and after the court decision was sent to the governor's offices of the provinces, state officials began to collect the election posters on Tuesday. The penal courts of peace, set up by the ruling AK party in June 2014, have received much criticism. The independence and fairness of those courts are seen as questionable by many as they are claimed to have been designed to pressurize or intimidate any opposition voices among rival politicians or media critical of the AK party government and Erdogan. The banned MHP election posters are about Erdogan's controversial luxurious presidential palace in Ankara and the December 17 and 25 major corruption investigations that implicated many high-ranking government officials including Erdogan. One of the MHP's collected posters reads, It is not AK Saray White Palace, but Dark Palace, while the other reads, Do not forget December 17-25. MHP, State Institutions Terrorizing Opposition Parties Lashing out at the court decision, MHP Parliamentary Group Deputy Chairman Octave Ural told today's Zayman that the state institutions are terrorizing the opposition parties. We bring them all to account. Saying that the state institutions have launched a battle against the MHP ahead of the polls, Octay said, it is a totally overbearing approach of governing and a party state understanding. This the decision is not lawful at all. Accusing the governors and prosecutors of losing their impartiality and independence, Octay called on them to ensure their objectivity towards the elections by saying, hey governors and prosecutors, pull yourselves together. They are trying to prevent the MHP from coming together with the nation via an overbearing state. Those governors should leave their positions and those prosecutors should remove their gowns, and they should join the AK party instead. Everybody should know their place, said Octay. He also emphasized that Turkey is no longer a state of law and heading towards a dictatorship. MHP Deputy Chairman Selal Adan said the AK party will go down in Turkish history as the party that eroded justice the most. Adan said that June 8, the day after the general election, will be the day when those who eroded justice will start to be brought to account. Controversial attempt to block HDP rally. Authorities attempt to prevent the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Parties, HDP, from holding a large-scale election campaign rally in Kizilm Square in the city's Zitinburnu district has caused controversy. In a statement released on Tuesday, the Stanbul governor's office denied news reports that it has allowed the HDP to hold the public rally in Kizilm Square, saying the square is not defined as demonstration venue according to a relevant law. The statement said that the governor's office has no authority to process requests from political parties regarding election rallies that take place within 10 days of an election and that the district election boards were in charge of such requests. We received information that the Zitinburnu district election board did not allow a rally at Kizilm. The Kizilm area is not a demonstration venue as per law no 2911, continued the statement. However, the governor's office had apparently later backpedaled from its statement as HDP CEO Chair Selahattin Demirdas announced via his Twitter account on Wednesday that the problem regarding our rally on May 30 at Kizilm Square has been resolved. We will be in Kizilm at 3 o'clock p.m., he wrote. 
HDP Stanbul branch head Sezim Soylu also confirmed that the election rally in Kizilm will be held on May 30. After the governor's office's statement, his party officials held a meeting with the governor's office in which all the problems relating to the rally were resolved. All that held true until a further intervention by the Stanbul governor's office, which followed its statement on Tuesday with another on Wednesday. Some HDP officials announced that the rally was allowed to be held by the governor's office, but as election law number 298 clearly states the authority to determine whether the rally can be held there or not will not belong to the governor's office as of May 28. This authority will be transferred to the local district election boards between May 28 and June 7 under the law, the follow-up statement said. This second statement apparently places the HDP's planned large-scale rally set for Kizilm Square in jeopardy as the governor's office appears to be attempting to lay the ground so it doesn't have to take any responsibility should the HDP Kizilm rally ultimately be cancelled by placing the responsibility for allowing such a rally on the shoulders of the local district election board. Speaking during his party's rally in the province of Antalya on Wednesday, Demirda said the governor's office's latest words aim to provoke HDP supporters. He stated that the public rally that the HDP seeks to hold in Kizilm Square is set to happen at the same time as the conquest of Stanbul events referring to the Ottoman conquest of Stanbul in 1453. Those events are scheduled to be held simultaneously in Yenikap and are to be attended by Erdogan and Ahmet Davutoglu, the prime minister and AK party leader. Demirdas added, I am saying sincerely that Stanbul will be with us, although we could not hold this rally. We will increase our votes dramatically. We have no doubt over this. Saying that the right to hold election rallies belongs to political parties, Demirda said that anyone has the right to ask for support in favor of any political party, but only the president lacks this right. However, he Erdogan holds election rallies even more than the political parties. Everywhere is free for the president's rallies. Whatever you do, the HDP will pass the 10% election threshold in the elections and will enter parliament. Article 103 of the Constitution, which regulates the president's oath-taking, clearly states that the president must assure the public that he will remain impartial during the course of his duties. More and more restrictions on opposition reported across Turkey. In another act of discrimination taken by state institutions against opposition parties, the police and some municipal officers on Tuesday removed a truck being used as an election campaign vehicle by the main opposition Republican People's Party, CHP, in the eastern province of Erzurum from the central Yakutiyi Square by force, on grounds that the vehicle was damaging the historical fabric of the square. The CHP's deputy candidates Ganka Idas and Orhan Bozkurt and some other members of the party staged a sit-in protest against the police and the municipal officers who removed the vehicle from the square. The vehicle was removed after a complaint was filed by the AK party's Yakutiyi mayor Ali Korkut with the Erzurum Chief Public Prosecutor's Office. When the police and municipal officers came to remove the vehicle on Tuesday evening, the party's deputy candidates along with a group of CHP members objected. After a two-hour struggle, the party members were sent away from the truck, which was later forcibly removed from the square. The CHP members reacted by attempting to march towards the home of Erzurum Governor Ahmet Altparmak one kilometer from the square until a police blockade stopped the crowd. Speaking with today's Zaman, CHP Erzurum Provincial Head Tfhit Yava said the government cannot even tolerate the existence of opposition parties in Turkey. Seeing the party's electoral truck seized by the police after it was being used as an electoral stand, Yava's called the seizure completely unlawful, adding that the Supreme Election Board, YSK, had already granted the party permission to place its electoral stands in any of the city's public spaces. CHP's Erzurum deputy candidate, Bozkurt, pointed to the contradiction that while the CHP's election campaign vehicle was seized by force, the stands of the ruling party had also been erected on the square close to where the CHP's election vehicle had been parked. Bosker told today's Zaman that although CHP's vehicle was removed on the grounds that it was damaging the environment and historical buildings around the square, officials used a truck that was much bigger than the CHP's vehicle to remove the latter from the square. 
He added that if those officials were so concerned about the environment or the historical buildings, they would not have brought the bigger vehicle into the square. Just in front of the historic Yakuti Yi Madresa's door, stands have been opened by the municipality where the election campaign of the ruling party is being made. Please be aware of the discrimination that the opposition parties are exposed to, Boskert added. In a related incident, a public square that had earlier been earmarked for a rally for the Homeland Party, VP, in the southern province of Adana on May 29 was later allocated to Erdogan's meeting with the nation to be held on the same day. During a meeting held on Tuesday, the Sehan 1st District Election Board initially decided not to permit Erdogan's rally in the Yurmunka Square because the venue had already been reserved for the VP's election campaign rally. However, the same local election board later changed its decision, deciding to allocate the square for Erdogan's rally due to political pressures placed on the staff since its first decision not to give the square to Erdogan. This second decision caused outrage among VP party supporters. Commenting on the situation, VP General Secretary Sirhan Bolak said his party will not bow to such unjust treatment and that it will ignore the restrictions to hold its rally in the square. Similarly, the MHP has also been prevented from holding public rallies in Yenikap and Kizilm squares in Istanbul on May 31. When the MHP asked for permission from the FEDA District Election Board to hold its rally in Yenikap Square, the election board refused to grant it. Then, the opposition party asked for permission to hold its rally in Kizilm Square in Zitinburnu District. However, the district election board also refused to grant permission by stating that the square is not for holding rallies. Afterwards, the MHP Stanbul Provincial Office announced that the party will hold its election rally in Kizilm Square at 4 p.m. on May 31.